Carvel DeWitt would like to invite you in for the freshest handmade ice cream cakes in town. No matter what the occasion, Carvel DeWitt has the cake for you. Carvel DeWitt is starting a new tradition, a free side order of our world-famous chocolate crunchies with every freshly handmade ice cream cake. Carvel DeWitt, it's what happy tastes like. At Syracuse University, a picture of Gaddafi was placed among the flowers at the Pan Am Flight 103 Memorial. Written on it, the words, evil has been vanquished. Many believe he ordered the bombing of that flight over Lockerbie, Scotland. 35 SU students died in the explosion. And today on campus, news of his death was seen as a step forward for the Libyan people. When we're making, you know, strides in, you know, capturing terrorists um, and doing good for international, you know, security, for national security, of course, for us, um, it's, it's great for everybody. It's, it's a new change for them. It's something, uh, it's, you know, it's, it provides hope for them. I think it's just a good change for them, definitely. Gaddafi was mostly powerless at the end and on the run from his own countrymen. William Banks, director of Syracuse University's Institute for National Security and Counterterrorism, says the U.S. strategy proved very successful. As we uh, led this operation, but we did it uh, sort of with our allies in the front. Mm -hmm. We didn't send troops. We didn't put what, what we would call boots on the ground. We used only air power. We didn't risk any of our own uh, people. Libya now has its first chance in decades to form an open government. And Banks says that while the country has challenges, it also has something to build around. They do have a fairly sizable middle class. They have a good number of educated uh, people inside Libya. And of course, there's a wide diaspora of Libyans who will now come home. And some analysts say the U.S.'s approach to Libya could be used as a model for future international security issues. Reporting from the Pan Am 103 Memorial at Syracuse University, I'm Alex Dunbar.